The House Rules Committee heard legislation to raise the nation's debt ceiling. For more on this, we're joined now by Peter Zampa, HNN's Washington correspondent. Now, Peter, what can you tell us happened in that meeting? Yeah, so Ashley, this meeting is actually still going on on the ca on Capitol Hill behind me. And this meeting is really to take a look at this legislation and to vote on what's called the rule, which basically just says they can move forward toward a full House vote. And, and now this is Democrats and Republicans questioning, actually, their, their colleagues from both sides of the aisle, a Democrat and three Republicans, all who played a part in crafting this bipartisan legislation, this, this negotiated deal between the White House and Speaker Kevin McCarthy's teams. Um, um, it, but really, a lot of the same talking points that we've heard, each side bashing the other, Republicans saying it took Biden too long to come to the negotiating table, Democrats saying the president had a proposed budget, why couldn't they come up with theirs sooner, and why are they playing political games with the, with the nation's uh, full faith and credit? So a lot of the same talking points we've been hearing, but at the end of the day, it's about legislation that does have bipartisan support in a widespread, in a widespread manner. However, a couple of interesting dynamics in this committee, we do have at least two Republicans Republican no votes sitting on this committee. Ralph Norman from South Carolina and Chip Roy from Texas both said they would vote no on this piece of legislation because it doesn't go far enough. So it just shows a symptom of a broader issue that some of the fringes of each party are really objecting to this piece of legislation. It's just a matter of whether that moderate middle that does have hundreds and hundreds of votes can come through tomorrow night to send this legislation to the Senate. So Rules Committee first step tomorrow night, the big vote. Right, and are the negotiators confident they have enough votes for this bill to pass? Yeah, they are still whipping their respective sides. Now, the White House is letting uh, leaders on, on the ground here on, on Capitol Hill do a lot of the whipping on the Democratic side. However, for Republicans and Speaker Kevin McCarthy, that's what he's been doing all day today, and that's what he'll continue doing tomorrow. It's a real test for him because, again, it's likely that enough Democrats can come over to, to support this legislation and get this legislation through. However, for Speaker Kevin McCarthy, if he doesn't have these conservatives on this, and if that number continues to grow, that could be a real test of his leadership to see how effective he can be as Speaker moving forward. So he'll, he'll continue to try to get more of these conservatives on board and say, hey, look, this is a historic piece of legislation. We're getting a lot of the cuts we sought. If we had to come together with Democrats to get a compromise bill. This is what it looks like. Now let's move forward. All right. And Peter, what will happen if this bill does not pass tomorrow? If it does not pass tomorrow, you know, that, that's the, the day that no, no one's really hoping comes to pass because that could hurdle us toward that June, June 5th default day. And if that comes about, then the nation can no longer repay its debts. And that means potential global catastrophe as far as the economy goes. So if this bill does not get through, it would send these leaders scrambling um, and, and force them to either go through an amendment process, which, which makes changes palatable to certain sides, but then you have to also get that through the Senate. So if it does not get through tomorrow night, it could really unravel things. We'll have to keep an eye on whether those amendments come to pass at any point um, or whether this clean bill can get through. All right, HNN's Washington correspondent Peter Zampa joining us this afternoon. We appreciate the time, Peter. The US